Hi everyone, I'm Carol Ann, your fitness expert from Wesley Chapel, Florida. And today I am here at Anytime Fitness to talk about how you can prepare for a triathlon. Now the materials you will need are a swimming pool, your swimsuit, swim cap and goggles, a bike, a wide open space, and running shoes and water. So we have a lot of items that we need to prepare for a triathlon. So the first thing you want to do is pick a triathlon race and then work back, backwards from there. So you will need to allow maybe about six months to prepare, especially if it's your first triathlon. You want to work out the kinks. And then you're going to prepare to train with swimming, biking, and running. So we have a lot of events. We have several skills that we need to accomplish, so we need to have a lot of time in order to prepare for that. So, what you want to do is you want to have the proper equipment. So for your swimming event, you want to make sure that you have a comfortable swimsuit, and then you want to make sure that you have a swim cap and goggles that fit properly. For your biking, take your time in choosing the proper bike. So a lot of times triathlons, they will allow you to have a mountain bike, but it would be best if you got a road bike. So check out your local bike store, talk to the experts, get fitted properly into your bike. You'll want to have proper biking shoes, so you want to have clip-ons to clip into your bike as well. Then with your running event, you want to make sure that you choose the proper running shoes. They're comfortable. Take your time in learning how your foot strikes on the ground when you're running, and make sure you're prepared in that way. So the proper equipment, running clothes, swimming clothes, Make sure that you're prepared for that. Now, if you need to have a watch and you want to time yourself, that would also be a great investment to have as you're preparing for your triathlon. Now, as you're training, focus on your weakest sport. You're going to train six days a week, alternating, and sometimes you'll be training two events on the same day. So you want to make sure that you focus on your weakest sport so that you can continue to improve your skill in that area. Make sure you take one full day off to rest your entire body because your body is going to be under tremendous stress and you're going to be challenging your body to be able to do different formalities and uh, you're going to be taking your body to that edge. So make sure you're resting. Go ahead and practice your transitions before the race day. So practice getting out of the water, taking off your, your goggles and your swim cap cap and putting on your biking shoes and clipping into your bike. Practice getting off your bike, changing into your running shoes because that all counts for time. So you want to try to reduce the amount of time it takes for you to transition between those different events as well. Make sure you get plenty of sleep, drink lots of water, prepare yourself nutritionally as well. Practice with the types of foods that you'll be able to eat during your event so that you don't get sick. And then you want to make sure that you have glucose gel packs on hand because you're going to be going for endurance. You want to make sure that you have plenty of energy, especially on that race day as well. So these are all some great tips to help you prepare for your triathlon. And I'm Carol Ann, your fitness expert from Wesley Chapel, Florida.